live from Austin, Texas, where we're going to get it right this time, damn it. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. Oh, I'm so excited. We we did it. Yep. Welcome to Gaioko Round 2, uh, This Time For Real. That's the subtitle. This time, it's... A little, <laughs> a little less personal. A little less personal. Yeah, we took it. We took it extremely personal last Ooh, time. Boy. Okay, so if you were here last week, I'm sorry. If you weren't here last week, what happened is we ended up covering a grand two of the planned twenty plus games we were going to cover. We uh, covered Radical Bikers, mm -hmm. which is a pizza delivery game, mm -hmm. and Smashing Drive, which is a people delivering game. Uh, we wanted to get to the rest of Spanish developer Gaioko's, uh, the rest of their catalog. That didn't quite work out for a number of reasons. Uh, for a limited time, you can go check out the VOD to see, uh, what exactly happened. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that expire naturally on its own, I think. It's a disaster, so see it before, uh, see it before it goes away in a Twitch vault forever. <laughs> just let it fade into obscurity. Thank you, BMF. For the 16 months, you are the pizza man. You really are. Uh, for a limited time, everyone who subscribes to this channel gets to be the pizza man. Uh, so. Thank you to the Ultimo 500 Bits, brought to you by Jinkos. Actually, Jinkos did come back. Oh, cool. Yeah, they made a tweet today. So, uh, th uh, I guess Jinkos is now our sponsor. Thank you, Jinkos. We I will wear your jeans and trip all over them. We brought them back by sheer will. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, so... Uh, last Wednesday was kind of an elaborate setup. I kind of bit off more than I can chew. So this week we're just going to take it easy. We're going to play through all of Gaioko's arcade games between 1987 and 1999. Ooh. That's a good solid 12 years of arcade experience. Now, as we mentioned last week, Gaioko is based in Barcelona, Spain. Uh, they hired direct from Spanish universities. So all kinds of game dev talent coming in through that company. We're going to get to see Spain's take on arcade trends throughout the 90s, which mm -hmm. is kind of like a little alternate universe to the Western world. It's neat, and we're going to do it. I'm excited. Also, 100 Bits from Truffle Luxury, uh, co-sponsored by Fruitopia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, we're also sponsored by Pepsi Blue and uh, PB Max. Can You're... I be sponsored by Josta? Oh, yeah, sure. Josta will never leave. I, I make I make my own bathtub Josta nice. I sell it at the farmer's market here in Austin. So That's go check disgusting. That out. Do you use our bathtub? No. <laughs> uh, also, uh, don't don't take a shower tonight. I, I've still it's it's kind of clogged with uh, some of that guarana. I just kind of ground it up. You told me it was backed up sewage. I trusted you. Listen. Anyway, Alex and I have a lot to discuss after the stream, but for now, it's Guileco time. It is. Let's do it. So, right. so let's start with the first game here. We're just going to go right down the list and maim that you can't see, but you will be seeing the games. Mm -hmm. Let's start off with 1987's Master Boy. <laughs> I can't start that game. That's, that's Start up Master Boy. That's not real. You're making this up to taunt me. So this is the only Gaioko arcade game I could see from the 80s. Uh, the rest are from 90 to 99 in this list. I guess they just kind of sat on their ideas for a few years. Is before this a they... quiz game in Spanish? Yes, it is a Spanish quiz game. So ah. click on that window if you please. No, I don't know Spanish. Watch this, I'm trying a little. All right, I'm going to choose uh, Trafico. Uh, Las Maracas de la Calzada suelen ser blancas y azules. I'm going to say that's incorrecto. Yep, so much yeah. like other quiz games, you get it right, you get your uh, bonus in the form of time left over. Automobiles use diesel and gasoline. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's correct. Uh, Look at me, I'm Mr. Worldwide here. Uh, thank you to Fenwa for subscribing. Let's see. Se confunde. Las curvas. Uh, I'm gonna say that's correct. So these are all about traffic and cars. It's talking about accidents and uh, what kind of fuel cars take. This is not okay. unusual for the time. There are many, many, many arcade quiz games, as uh, Lord BBH can attest to. As usual, if you want regular coverage of these old-ass arcade games, I recommend checking out his channel. He does mm -hmm. Mame Roulette, where he's gonna play every single arcade game, thousands of them. It's quite 
non-ordinario. <laughs> Definitely out of the ordinary. It's the Crusa. So humble beginnings from Turis our friends at Guileco, you see. Turismo is a yeah, that is an automobile. <laughs> I'm glad it's asking me like first grader questions. <laughs> it's being very nice to me. Uh no, that's wrong. Mm. Oh, look at those bonus points. Now granted, this is no big bucks, this is no uh, pit boss, but still, it works. Oh, Also, they give you a lot of time for one quarter. You un, sure do! You're just here forever! Un globo. Yeah, my Spanish sucks. Well, also keep in mind, this is not uh, Mexican Spanish. Oh, this yeah. is This is regular-ass Spain Spanish, mm. so it's slightly different from what you might be used to here in the States. We do not need sexy master boy uh, BBH. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I I don't typically put my foot down on it, but I'm like, no. Now it's important we play this because there is a follow up to this game they released a few years later. Really? Yeah. Master boy sounds like a pirate handheld console. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, yes, the final del juego. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. That's it. I got right. 2,100 points. Truly, I am the master boy. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. All right. Next up, in 1990, you thought they were getting ready to release their first 1990s game, but no, this one went unreleased. It's just a prototype. This is Soar World XOR. Alex, drag that over. Pick up your controller, because we're going to play two-player Zor World for the first time in Twitch history. Oh, no. Now, warning, this game has high sensitivity, so make sure the joystick operates properly. Let me just adjust the screen real quick. Okay. That's a neat looking title screen. Yeah, we got 100 bits from Electric Boogaloo, <laughs> who says that. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were going to go over that in a second, uh, Electric Boogaloo. There we go. Okay. Um, let me get on here. There we go. We are ready for Zorro World. All right, let's do it. Two player puzzler, let's do it. Push two. So you might think of this as Nightmare Tetris. Uh, what you have to do is you gotta rotate these shapes, and they fill in this background image. And what you want to do is eliminate the background image, you see. Okay. You hit one button to confirm, the other one is uh, to turn. Ah. Now the problem is... These pieces are falling while you do this. I don't I don't see that being necessary to this design, frankly, but that's the way they did it. Yeah! Hey, you are Oh, there we go. And if you try to fill in the background, it just adds extra pieces. It's just like, oh. Mm -hmm. It's like digging your own grave. Maybe that's why they didn't release it, because it was too much like digging your own grave. They're like, listen, we don't, we don't, we're, we're not pro-grave digging here. <laughs> Arcade games are supposed to make you forget the grave. Sometimes. Oh man, I'm speeding up. Oh. We're both very bad at Zor World. Oh yeah, we are, we are no, no real Zor heads here. I do like the boogie woogie music in the background, at least. having fun. I mean, <laughs> I mean, how do you, how do any of us define fun in this day and age? <laughs> I'm glad yeah, no one I, knows how sore. I could be conscripted into war, I guess. I mean, compared to that, this is pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm glad I'm not being conscripted into war. Yeah, same. Oh, here we go. I'm about to do it. Check it out. I did it. Oh, you Zord! Mm -hmm. I am. Well, this was gonna be Guileco's first game for the 90s, but apparently they decided it was not ready for market. Gotta just. <laughs> put a bullet in its head. It's done. Danny? It's a little violent. That's, the, that's what they do to arcade games over there. They shoot arcade games, don't they? Mm hmm. Alright, I'm gonna die. 
I think we've seen just about all we can this see. This is enough Zora World for anything. Yeah, interesting concept. Of course, Tetris variants were big at the time, but that wasn't going to do it. Sorry, Zora World. Sorry, all right. Zora. So that's the preliminaries. The preliminaries are out of the way. What you're going to see now is nothing but nonstop action from Guileco. These games, you're going to look for three things. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. Hot jams, detailed pixel art, mm-hmm. and jank. So much jank. It all starts in 1991 with Big Karnak. Big Karnak? Huh? How big is this Karnak? I... The biggest. Hmm, I don't know about that. This Karnak is huge. You wouldn't believe it. Like, are we talking over a pound? Uh, yeah, 16 ounces of Karnak. Mmm, that's pretty good. Eh, <laughs> Karnak's going wild. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I appreciate these, uh, test screens. That lets us, uh, set up our, our window here. <laughs> yes, it's really nice. All right, we ready to go? Yeah. We are going to play some two-player Big Karnak. Ooh, two-player. Because this is a two-player simultaneous game. I guess this is, uh, some, what's it, dank jank? Yeah. This is part of that dank jank, yeah. Push your start button. Got it. And watch this intro. Look how big that dude is! is see, that, is see that... I would just let him have that lady, because, I mean, look how big he was. I can't compete with that. Move the mouse cursor, if you will. Thank you. Alright, now I'm unimpeded. So, Karnak is like a, uh, I think it's a place in Egypt. It doesn't refer to a person. Uh, wherever it is, it's big. Okay, uh, thank you to, uh, Dang Dino Heart, 11 months in a row, and as they say, that is Dank Jank for 11 whole months. Nice, thank you. Retro Pals, the place for Dank Jank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're like, the word the oh, Tony? Oh, stand, stand back, you gotta hit these back at the monkeys. Oh. And it makes a comedic sound effect. Nice. Yeah, we're like Tony Roma, but for Dank Jank. Mm hmm. Does Tony Roma still exist? Yeah, that monkey's pelting good. Tony Roma still exists. There's one in San Antonio. Now, arcade heads will notice that this game lifts a few choice sound effects from Double Dragon, as was the style at the time. Uh, pretty much everyone did that. Gaioko is no exception. <laughs> I love that little little group of monsters beneath us. The <laughs> yeah, just skeleton. a preview. You're gonna see mummies, skeletons. Otherwise, though, I'm pretty sure this is orig an original design. Uh, these sprites are all original. Uh, the music is, I assume, as well. I, I lost my sword, so now I'm just... Oh, you can lose your sword? Sure can! It's like Trojan. I'm getting my ass handed to me by these birds. You got skeleton problems, it looks like. <laughs> Skeletons do not react to being punched. Okay, you got your sword back. Yeah. Good. I hate to say it, but I kind of like this. <laughs> this game's pretty fun. This game is real jank. It's jank, but it's fun. Oh god! <laughs> you got monkeys pelting you, you got birds, mummies, skeletons. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got boy oil oil noises. Ooh, there's just a big pile of gore there. Hey, I got the Holy Grail. No, you didn't. <laughs> you better not stick. Oh, I gotta kick the snake now. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. The big Karnak boy. Big Karnak, the mighty Karnak. <laughs> Thinking he's so cool. Come on, Karnak. Green Karnak. Whoa, I chopped that snake's head off. Yeah, this this plays decently. I'm surprised. Controls are often kind of loose in Guile Kills games, but this one plays well enough. Looks like you get a decent number of power-ups, whatever they do. Oh, the music's going crazy. It's, doing, it's a breakdown. Hey, hey! Quit choking my friend. Thank you, honey. What would be the U.S. equivalent of this, do you think? Some, there were side-scrolling action games around in 91. Do a, do a better jump. Okay, there you go. Good enough. 
<laughs> I'm just kicking this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Giant that Karnak is too big. That Karnak is too big. That is a big ass skeleton. Video Game King is asking if this means there are canonically two pharaohs in Egypt. Uh, maybe? I assume this game is historically accurate. Oh, you can hold up and push jump to uh, jump to the uh, platforms. But you see what I mean about their games just having the most ridiculous detailed 16-bit pixel art? Like, look at that skeleton. And that big dude at the beginning. That's how, yes. they, that's how they dabbed back in the Egyptian Yes, we areas. are defending the gay rodeo. <laughs> Thanks, Gex. Yeah, we. This is uh, this is the gay rodeo. Oh, check it out. That's the Karnov sprite from uh, Bad Dudes. They just recolored him and gave him a little uh, towel. <laughs> He's kicking my ass. Karnak, no. Karnov versus Karnak. Karnak. Cool. It's... Oh. That's cool. Nice little touch there. Let's go. Okay. Let's go in the pyramid, dude. Pharaoh number two. Alright, Pharaoh number one. Ah, the solutions to the enigmas. <laughs> Alright, I got it. Got it. So I'm just gonna follow you. I got cool. some kind of barrier. Yeah, I got weird magic now. Now, I know something weird happened when BBH played this game, but I can't remember what. Whoa, hey, just help yourself, I guess. <laughs> I can't. Whoa, I whoa, 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 oh, cat lady. I think he, like, fell Guy. through the floor or something. Oh, I'm just gonna sit here. Who is this? Oh, it hard locked, that's right. I think that was the stream where uh, you played this and then I made you play Alligator Hunt, so it was like a, a Guileco extravaganza. Some kind of sub boss. Got well, it. Good God. Got him. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is Anubis doing? Stop that. Hey, I'm Anubis. Anubis, get over yourself. Quit your roughhousing. There's a pyramid, see? That's teamwork. It's making the dream work, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, this one. Oh, that that killed me. Okay, don't don't do that one. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna sit here and get get yeah, killed. So, yeah. Punch Anubis to death. No, that's horrible. That's just a demon. That's not an Egyptian god. You you're mixing them up. What did the Minotaur do to get chained up? You don't want to know. Either way, we gotta take care of him. Yeah, stuff. Oh, maybe I need to hit the switch down here. Uh, it hard locked! It hard locked! The BBH curse lives on! <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I think there's some flaw with the MAME emulation in this game, considering that I've now seen this game crash every time I've seen it streamed. So, uh, maybe you wanna work on that protection, guys. Mm. I don't know. That's Big Karnak. Or some of it. An okay game. And a good preload for what's to come. It's okay game. Let's play, yeah, next game. Okay. We've crashed one game. Let's see if we can crash the rest. Can't wait. What's next? Next up is 1991's awaited remaster of Master Boy. Master Boy Remastered. I told you it was going to happen. And here it is. Gotta check the Rams. Mm hmm Okay. And the ear rom. Mm -hmm. That's Rojo, Verde, Azul, and Blanca. Oh my god! There he is! <laughs> what? There's the master boy. I have so many questions. Why is he roaring? Why why any of that? Well, why is he roaring? No time to answer that because we gotta play so some. Jealous. We gotta play some Master Boy. All right, throw the general. We got this. Oh, I love Junior Senior. Let's do it. 
Sociales. Cine. Ah, I know cine. cine. We yeah. all know cine. Yeah, yeah, let's answer some cine questions. Okay. So, quite an upgrade in terms of graphics here. El hombre que sabía demasiado was Cary Grant. Uh, I'm gonna say that's incorrect, though. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Of course it was so Jimmy Stewart. Better! Oh, and it's two player, too. Mm hmm. Uh, around the world in 80 days, the music was composed by Victor Young. Yeah, sure. Oh, you got it right. I'm undefeated. You're a, you're a scene of genius. Thank you. My Fair Lady won eight Oscars. Yeah, that sounds about right. Damn. Damn, you're a real, you're a real film buff. Mm-hmm. Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> he, uh, he, he, he won fame in the horror genre, yes. I assume they call it the terror genre over there. Oh suspense. no, it's suspense! Now it's like a baby crying, That's, so... That's... oh man. Uh, yeah. No. You made the baby cry again. I've lost it. I've lost the streak. Oh, no! Oh man. <laughs> Out of here. Uh -huh. About the souffle. That sounds like a Jean-Paul Belmondo. Movie. That's who's in Castlevania. You can't fool me. Nope. Oh man. Sorry about all the crying babies. No way. It's great. Everyone loves to hear children cry. Okay, one more continue, and then we'll we'll move on. But the tree of something. Gary Cooper and. I'm gonna say incorrect. Uh oh. Did you know the right answer? No! Okay. I know any of these! You know way more about this than I do. Uh huh. Y yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Well, if there's one thing I want you to take away from this game, is that the award for most improved series goes to Master Boy. By far. Correcto. No. Why do you act like you know the answers to all these questions? <laughs> it's pissing me off. Because I have movie expertise, Danny. Ah, uh, no one cares about mm. your movie expertise. Mm. I'm just here to put on a good show for the people. Uh-huh. I'm here to tell them the true facts about the movie Roque el Viento Se Llevo. A lot of victors in these, uh, questions. A lot of victors in film. Alex, do me a favor and hit F3. Okay. I wanted to see the best part of the game again. Okay. <laughs> I mean, as a quiz game, it's okay. But you can't beat that intro. You ready? Yeah. Oh, 4,000 preguntas. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, Jampolian, that question did ask what race is Glenn Miller. Is that the question? That's why it was Blanca, yeah. You, you asked me if the white man was white? That's a messed up question. That's so weird, right? Let's, let's move on. Let's go. We're that, out of here. That and you're asking me about Woody Allen? I don't know about your... Uh, no, no, we're, we're canceled. We don't want that. Okay, uh, I don't so know. Next? I don't know about you, Gaioko. I don't know. Well, uh, Alex, you need to pick carefully between these next three ROMs I have listed. I would pick, yeah, that one. This one? Yeah, it's the U.S. version, so probably no nudity. This is the only game. Um, this is the only game that has adult content in some regions, but not the U.S. version. This is Painted Lady, aka Splash. Remember, if we see a boob, we got to turn it off. Got There's it. the rules. This is a two-player game, so pick up your controller. Thanks to Devil Ray for the 21 months. Much hey, appreciated. Thank you. Remember, winners don't use drugs. Yeah, yeah gotcha. they see they wouldn't have nudity in a in a game that uh, that references winners don't use drugs. Now this is a third party release from Gaioco. In fact, somewhere around half of their games were outsourced to other Spanish developers, including some of their most famous games, including World Rally. Hey. 
Splash. That's... Boy, that is some crude art. Nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, do I press start? Yeah. So, this is Don't Kix, a.k.a. Gal's Panic, but kind of a variation on that. Instead of drawing lines, you're just uncovering the background. And there's a shoot 'em up element. You can straight up shoot the kicks. And you get like a spread shot too, so it's kind of like a shooter meets kicks. Yeah, see? I just love how powerful you are. Like, <laughs> in kicks, it feels like everything's out to get you, and here you're like armed with a shotgun. Bubbles ain't gonna fuck with that. Children's music it's playing. Who's that? Oh, there's two ladies. Oh my god. Bonus. <laughs> yep. This was a viable genre of arcade games for a while. Uh, most famously, Gal's Panic, of course. And along with other Comad originals, mm -hmm. including famous games like Miss Nude World and Miss Mr. Nude World, <laughs> which is maybe my favorite name for an arcade game. Miss Mr. Nude World 96. Is this the same picture? It's the same picture! I feel ripped off. I will say this is more action oriented than the Gals Panic games. Uh, it's not as frustrating. It doesn't like replace the picture with some kind of horrific imagery if you do badly. Oh, I don't like that part. Like of, those uh... games do. Yeah. It's like, well, like, now oh, it's you thought you, you thought you were gonna see a naked lady, but nope, now it's Pinhead it's or always, Freddy Krueger. It's always Pinhead. Hey, there oh, we wait, go. Oh no, does does she have a glare on her glasses? Is that anywhere? Or was that there last time? I don't know. Oh well. Oh, you should you should exit. Okay. <laughs> I did see the difference between that and the last picture. Let's move on. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> I did not see that. Okay, thank you for catching that. What's next, Danny? Next up is one of Gaioko's premiere games. Uh, this got a sequel. It is very popular for good reason. Let's play Thunder Hoop. So I just want to say that Thunder Hoop is listed here as Thoop. Yep, which... that is the main ROM name, Thoop. Danny. I really, okay, here's, here's something I gotta mention. I love MAME internal ROM names because sometimes they're pretty funny. Like Fatal Fury, the ROM name is Fat Fury. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's also me. All right. It doesn't take much to make me laugh. Anyway, uh, this guy's doing some horrific experiments on aliens or something. So he was banished from the labs for having deviated from the experiment. Mm -hmm. He could put the world in danger. And this game's just one player, so don't worry about this. Right, cool. Blind with rage <laughs> on account of his dismissal. Whoa, cool monsters. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna destroy the world. Mm-hmm. New Life Laboratories. Pretty complex story here. And it's Goku! What is he? That's Thunderhoop. AKA Goku. Not sure it's Goku. You may want to turn this down a little bit. Thank you. Now, this does have a two-player mode, but it's alternating, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, you may think this game looks a little bit primitive compared to what may come in the future, but hey, we all got to start somewhere. Let's play some Thunder Hoop. Or Whoa. Thoop. Thoop, as we call it. Okay, that looks cool. That looks very cool. I like that. Aesthetic. It's a monster! What's anything? A bunch of aliens? Go, 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 go! Now, I'm pretty sure this game has one-hit deaths, so you need to be very careful. Also, it uses checkpoints. Uh, yeah, Morkin, this does have that Amiga game feel to it. At least the aesthetic does. How's it mm -hmm. play? It plays decently. Uh, this is no hard head, I'll give it that. It looks a little weird, but the gameplay is pretty... pretty okay. I'd say it's on par with Toki and other contemporaries like that. This shot. Get some nice big weaponry. Uh, uh, shooting tadpoles, I guess. That's what they are. 
Did they, you know what, Citricola, that's actually a good question. Did they, like, did they ever make an Amiga-based arcade cabinet? Uh, there were many arcade systems based off of Amiga hardware, yeah. Uh, there's one in particular uh, that just straight up uses Amiga hardware. Others, like uh, even Gaioko itself, some of its developers were previously Amiga developers, so many of their games will have that Amiga aesthetic. That makes a lot of sense! Okay, okay. Yeah, remember, Amiga was huge not just in the UK, but in various parts of Europe. So we had many Amiga games developed by Germans, Italians, and quite a few Spanish developers as well. Cool, I, I legit did not know that. That makes a lot of sense. This game looks pretty cool, actually. It's neat, and it plays great, I would say. And the graphic design, I will say, is pretty unique. <laughs> it is quite Gaioko. <laughs> That's a really nice way to say that. Mm-hmm. It but had it's... people talking. <laughs> but it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Ah, oh, dead. Welcome to New Live Essay. Yeah, this does have a real uh, deluxe paint look to it. Especially like some of these other uh, Valco title screens. That's very likely what they used, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh no, help Goku. Oh, no, he's in the hyperbolic uh, healing chamber. I forgot. Oh, oh he he's busted gone. out. He's out. <laughs> Ah, uh, y'all, I got a secret. I kind of love Guile Co. <laughs> I do too. Th there's no other games that really look or play like this. They just, they really have their own unique feel, these games. <laughs> oh, I love that sound effect. Yeah. They, they're good at choosing sound effects. I'll give them that too. We mentioned last time that they actually have an in-house guitarist at their studio. Oh! His oh. name is uh, Joan San Marti. He composed music for most of their games. And as we mentioned last time, once Gaioka was able to add digitized sound effects to its games, they used that to put his digitized guitar work into their uh, soundtracks. Nice. So that's why a lot of these games have real hard rocking guitar songs. Was going he the on. guitarist on a uh, Smashing Drive? And, yep. Uh, he oh, cool. he uh, yeah he did the guitar for all those songs in those games and composed the music as well. I think he had a uh, he had a co-artist to help with Smashing Drive, but yeah. Otherwise, for most Gaioko games, it's just him. Uh, BBH mentioned you can jump on enemies. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's a. I know that's a thing in the sequel. I forgot it was a thing here too. Yeah, and as folks in chat are mentioning, uh, Goku uh, and Dragon Ball were huge in Europe, mm -hmm. huge all over Europe, especially at this time of. Uh, and in Spanish-speaking countries, like uh, yes. Mexico, had a huge Dragon Ball following to the point where you would see uh, dubbed into Spanish Dragon Ball episodes on uh, cable TV in San Antonio. Actually, that's how I first saw a lot of stuff. I saw a lot of anime dubbed on, uh, that was, oh god, I... Yeah, all the nerds back then actually preferred that because it would be uncensored compared to the, uh, the English versions mm -hmm. of those episodes. Mm -hmm. It's how I saw, uh, Captain Tsubasa back in the day, because my Spanish was better than my Japanese, which is, neither of our, neither of them are, like, mm -hmm. respectable, but yeah. Oh, we got a boss. Yeah, mistake. Brazil also, uh, Dragon Ball was big there too. Yeah, it was like, uh, like all of Mexico, Central, and South America were just real big on Goku, it felt like, at least from my perspective here in America. I didn't live there in America. We're all big on Goku. Yeah. Goku, Goku is was, the thing that unites us. Goku was so, man, sorry, I'm just thinking of the silk, the silk, uh, screen. The, the, the silken Goku, yeah. The, you know, those silk Goku shirts from yeah. the 90s. Mm -hmm. Like Goku and he'd throw like fire on it. That's the and... one thing that unites us. Nerds around the world wore those and thought they looked cool. <laughs> this, no I... matter what culture, no matter what nationality, we all wore Silk Goku shirts. Those Silk Goku bowling shirts. Oh my god! Ugh. So gory. Whoop fun whoop, I'm uh, owning myself as well, because I absolutely wore one of those silk anime shirts. At least it wasn't a hookup shirt. Just tell yourself that. There was a lot of people who wore silk and Goku shirts. You can't... You're, n you're not any kind of weirdo for wearing those. Goku with a bunch of flames. Alright, level two, they sent us to the sewers, so guess what? It's time to move on. 
Uh, I'm sorry, Danny. I'm sorry. The Mexican version of Bleach had real sugar in it. Wow, who knew? Let's move on to another Megaton hit for Gaelco. This this one may be their biggest game of all time. This spawned numerous clones, numerous imitators. This is the great World Rally. Uh, click that. This one? Yeah, that one. Man, this game. Now, can anyone tell me if this game or Visco's Drift Out came first? Because they're both very similar games, and I think one game was inspired by the other but I'm not sure which is which. But in any case, this game was huge in Spain. It was everywhere for a while. Remember, only use this in North and South America. Got it. Check it out. He use this in Central America? Mm -mm. They even got the Atari license. Atari helped him release this. Atari also helped to release Radical Bikers over here. I love this. Now this game heavily features the Toyota Celica as well as a rally star at the time. I forget his name. Uh, neither of those were licensed. They just kind of picked it up and ran with it. Okay, Drift Out was first. It was 1991. Okay, Drift Out came a little bit before this then. And obviously they took the idea and ran with it. I'll learn to drive on all kind of surfaces. Tarmac, gravel, snow, Ooh. sewage. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, um... Alex, start the other version of this game. I didn't, uh, I don't have the controls hooked up for this one. <laughs> Let it go! No way! I just, okay. They also, it looks like they replaced the car for this version. Yeah, go ahead and quit and play the original version. Got it. Uh, this one? Yeah, that one. Sweet. This one. This one's gonna work. Maybe Atari made him redo the graphics. Who knows? Atari was like, no. You gotta tighten up the graphics. Mm -hmm. Do I not have the controls for this either? Wait, was there something weird I had to do for this? Mm. Um, uh. Hit tab. Go to input this machine. Yeah, that all looks correct to me. Why is it not letting me start? Okay, push escape a couple of times. Uh, BBH says check dip switches. Oh, okay. Go to the dip switches. Hit tab and go to dip switches. And why don't you turn free play on? That may be our best bet here. Alright, push escape till you get back to the game. Got it. And now hit F3. I'm teaching Alex how to use MAME. Thank you, Dan. He hasn't accidentally exited a single time. I that's I'm so proud of him. I put a very large object on top of the escape key, but not large <laughs> enough to depress the escape key. Yeah, don't get depressed, escape key. <laughs> All right, free play worked. Let's play this game. This game's notable for a few reasons. Uh, oh, yeah, listen to that music. Oh, I love it. This game, several years after this game was huge, Gaioko themselves, as in the founder, uh, gave the decryption code to MAME Team to help emulate this game. Because at the time, they knew this would be huge, so they they programmed their own CPU to provide encryption for the graphics ROMs. Oh, wow. And for many, many years, no one could figure out how that worked. And it remained unbroken until they actually gave the encryption code to MAME Team. If you want to read about that, uh, Google Gaioko Historia. Uh, the result will be on the first page, probably. Uh, they explain, they go over an event where the main team actually handed over the code, and the founder of Gaioko actually handed over the original model that they scanned in for the car. Oh, that's so cool! Because this car, it looks digitized, but what they did is they built a model from scratch and painted it to look like the uh, famous Toyota Celica from back then. Oh, I saw that picture with the, mm -hmm. with the tiny painted-on fake Marlboro thing. Yeah, and the, uh, the founder brought it to... It was some kind of expo or museum, and at the end of the show, he ended up donating it. So, pretty nice. Gaoko is very interested in preserving and uh, maintaining its own history. That's really cool. Quite refreshing. Honestly, yeah. And also needed, because these games were not being decrypted without help. They were damn sure that they were not going to decrypt and pirate these games. You. You. Ready? Three, two. 
what is this, 92, 93? These are some pretty good graphics for that time. That, that plays fast, it plays really well. Uh, this style of game is pretty popular among arcade goers in many countries, particularly Spain, Brazil. For whatever reason, all the different games in this style come from those countries. Oh yeah, and the uh, the ROM for a very long time, you could just, for World Rally, would just straight up on Galakoza landing page. Oh, that's right, yeah, they offered the ROM themselves, so not only did they, ha did they help emulation, but they were like, no, go emulate our games. Because by that time, they had transitioned to becoming uh, Gaioko Darts, or rather Radical Darts. Yeah, all they do is darts now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the old arcade business was just unprofitable after a certain point. After Smashing Drive, they just packed it in. But I assume the darts market is pretty much booming because they're still going with their darts machines as of 2019. Well, everybody's, you know, everybody wants to throw sharp objects. That's true. That's, that's another thing that unites us. Always in style. So Alex, hit escape, and why don't we play one of the clones of this game, because we're never going to get this opportunity ever again. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. Do it. Folks, we're going to play a game that has been making me laugh since I Ever since think. I told Alex the name of this game. This is Blomby Car. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so happy to be showing off Blomby Car oh, on stream. I'm already laughing. I'm just going to let the, the intro play, because it's pretty funny. Yeah, so so these these games, these aren't bootlegs. Again, they had to reprogram their own version of this game. And because they lacked the original source material, these games, these rip-offs, were often kind of, uh, janky? So get ready for this infernal raid! <laughs> I love that the graphics don't reach the side, that's so good. You gotta reach the car starting from Paris. I hear there's a famous rally. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, very similar to Guileco's game. It's just they couldn't rip off the code or the graphics because they literally couldn't. <laughs> bon voyage. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love this game, y'all. Blombi car! <laughs> I'm feeling quite blomby myself. On, on voltage. On voltage. I, yeah, uh, if this has platforming, I'm absolutely going to say we play it on Friday. So, <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, no platforming. Bullshit. However, uh, the Famicom Paris Dakar Rally game does have platforming, so maybe someday. So yeah, you can see what they were going for here. They really wanted to rip off this game, and if they could, they would have just straight up ripped the ROMs, but... Galco made it a little bit harder for him, and as a result, this game looks a little bit more janky than it probably would. Also, it's called Blomby Car. I what does Blomby mean? I actually know what it means. Do you want me to spoil it? Please, just tell me. It's onomatopoeia for the sound a car makes when it's like uh, revving up and its engine sputtering. It's all like Blomby, Blomby. You know, it's, it sounds just like it, right? No. <laughs> Yeah, Blombie, Blombie. That's not Blombie at all, no! Thank you, BBH, that's not what it sounds like! <laughs> Don't you start up your car in the morning and it just goes blum, 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 No, blombie. it's never done that! <laughs> anyway, uh, whether you play the original or the clones, these games are pretty fun. I would recommend World Rally, as well as Neo Drift Out. Uh, that was the Neo Geo one, I think. That was a good one. But really, Gaioko had this this uh, genre wrapped up in Spain, at least until the clones came. Blombie car. All right, there you go from Lucky Boo Boo, who uh, mentions that. Oh he, God! Oh God! Well, he mentions that you're he mentions that you're fucking dead, um, <laughs> and that uh, the original, while well, the original Drift game uh, was out in 1991 and had a top-down view, the one that came out after Drift Rally, that came out after uh, World. Oh, that's right. The original Drift Out did have that weird overhead rotating view. Yeah, it wasn't isometric like this. So maybe Gaioko did invent the uh, isometric viewpoint for this genre. So good for them. They kicked off a genuine trend. Actually, I invented it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Stupid Gaioko ripping you off. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, I, I did. Oh no, my Blombi car! Oh shit, your Blombi car is Blombi gone. Who fucked up my Blombi car? Okay, actually, you're right. I was lying. It was a bad idea. Who invented it? That's a good idea. So good job. It is Blombi car. It's music. I'm having a fun multimedia adventure. This is the music from Death Stalker. It's all like do 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 do. There I am, that's me. Whoa, this music. Hold on. Oh, no! Bring back the cool music track! Sorry. Oh yeah, uh, I w uh, uh, RC Pro-Am may have done the isometric view before. Oh true, that is very similar, but not quite what they were going for here. This game doesn't have missiles or bombs, for one thing. Even though it's called Blombie Car. Anyway, go on, continue. Oh, let's, let's quit the game. Alright, let's get out of here. Goodbye, Blombie. I think we got time for one or two more games before we uh, cut to intermission. Alex, oh god, here we go. Hand me that mouse. Gaoko did a couple of light gun games. This should be comedy. <laughs> this is going to be some good shit right here. Uh, first up, we have Target Hits. Oh boy, I have to drag over my own screen. <laughs> ah, listen, listen. That's how you pronounce it. They told you. Wow, wow, wow. I have an idea. I can look over the game. Well, here's the thing. Um, I lost control of the mouse. Oh, wait, here it is. No, no. There we go. There we go. There you go. Yeah, Windows 10 is fighting with me for control over my mouse right now. <laughs> so as far as gun games go, this is pretty simple. This just gave you a simulated rifle, and you gotta shoot things. It's very straight-laced. It's very much in the vein of uh, Police Trainer here in the States. I like this music. Oh, no! shit! No! You can have my money! Oh, we got some Texas blues here. I don't even want to turn it down, but I gotta. See, that's what that's what having an in-house guitarist gets you. <gasps> oh, that guitar is so good. Yeah. Ready. I'm assuming this game is viewable, cause. Oh shit! It just blew up. Ready. This game is best not played on a bed. <laughs> I'm doing it though. I was say, we got we got a hard surface right here. I know, I know, but okay. I want to challenge myself. So you know, you and the bros head out to the desert every week to blow up some machines that you built yourself. Sounds like a regular time. Keeping these hints of lyrics and they just go away. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the Gaioko experience. Oh, I love Ready. that. Now, if you were expecting some variation on what's going on here, uh, no. <laughs> like Police Trainer, this keeps things very serious, very simple, and you're not going to see much variation between stages. Ready. But if you're a marksman and you're looking for a game that tells you how to pronounce Gaioko, this is the game for you. Shit. Now slow focus too. This sounds like a lot of good music in this. Ready. Oh, this is my last chance. Now I will I will end this part with a teaser. They did make another light gun game, and it's a clone of point blank. Oh, God. Just think of what that might be like. Just entertain those thoughts while you wait for me to show it. It'll be in the second half of the show. Ready. I don't want to see what they do. Actually, I say that, but I, I do want to see a very janky point blank. Yeah. It's more interesting than this, I'll give it that. Ah, fuck it, I'll let it go. Leave, Target. Tell your friends I was here. 
not a continue counter. Books. Game over. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> no time to put it in the corner. My name is Dog. The bounty Hunter. Oh, yeah. I told you about the hot jams, bro. Here you go. Thanks for uh, lending me the mouse. Let's hear it one more time. Beautiful. So, as you've seen so far, these guys, they don't stick to a single genre. They're out to tackle the entire arcade industry in Spain. They want to cover racing games, they want to cover light gun games, action games, they want it all. And Guileco can totally have it all, because they're Guileco. Alex, why don't we finish off part one with a little game called Alligator Hunt. This is a two-player game, so get ready. This is also one of the best-known Guileco games, and oh my god, the jams in this one. The jams may kill you. Well, I don't like dying, but I do like jams. It's for a good cause. Okay. Love freaking Alligator Hunt. This game is really fun, actually. It's a game, it's a shooting gallery styled shooter in the vein of Cabal or Blood Brothers. Mm -hmm. Or Pie Ass, if you're familiar with BBH's stream. Ooh, I love Pie Ass. Shit, alligators have taken over Earth. If only. There's only one team of people who can stop them. And that's a couple of punk kids with guns. That's who gave us. us. Who gave us guns? Oh my god, those guys look cool. I don't care about the guns. I want to know more about these cool alligators. See, look at this freaking pixel art. This Whoa, is us. Whoa, they're cool. That's us. Let's play it. Freaking alligator hunt. Best game ever. You ever play this one? No. It's good. You got a shoot button, a roll button, and a missile button. Uh, like Cabal, you stand in place if you shoot. You've played these games before. Hey, it says kill on the back of my shirt. Yeah, you're the coolest. Player 2 is the coolest player, for sure. Now, I'm gonna go to bat for this game. This is a top 5 Gaoko game, as far as I'm concerned. If you're gonna play any of their games, make sure you play this one. Hey, real quick, is my ass hanging out? Yeah, your ass is hanging wow! out. And your shirt says kill. Wow, this is a good game! I told you. And if you've played this before, you may want to play it again, because just very recently, MAME actually emulates this game correctly. Uh, you'll remember in the later levels, you turn into a spaceship, and earlier versions of MAME did not emulate the spaceship's behavior correctly. Like, you would try to move and you'd end up rolling constantly. That's not the intended behavior, and as of a few versions ago, they emulate it right. Oh yeah, your roll button can make you roll. is just hanging out. Yeah, well, it's the apocalypse. I mean, let it all hang out. Oh my god, the music. Yeah, this game goes hard. This is Maximum Guileco. The secret is to roll all the time. That makes you invincible while you do it. These aliens can take our freedom, but they can't take our electric guitars. I can't take my ability to roll. Oh yeah, remember your missiles if you need to take down the big stuff. Uh, how do I do that again? It's the circle button on your controller. Yeah, thanks. Thanks to me. Thanks to Danny! Okay, we're gonna need to put in more credits. I've already used like five. Alright, you got it. Thanks. Money is no a, object. Got a whole row of quarters for me, thank you. Now, a lot of other Gaioko games we played so far, they had a quality of jank to them. This beat them more. <laughs> this is good. This is actual good, playable stuff. This is a very enjoyable game. Alright, get in your spaceship. <laughs> Heard from the end of a door <laughs> yeah, from, from gonna make... guitar. <laughs> That's exactly it. Okay, this is the takeoff sequence. It's like, uh, it's like Top Gun. Oh, and also you have to push left and right so you don't hit the sides. Right. 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 
take off at 280. Almost made it. Oh, I think you can hold the button actually. It's your square button. Almost got it. No. <laughs> <laughs> and the brave boys' lives ended there. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, just hold down the button. <laughs> wow, humankind is fucked. Put us on the job. I'll avenge you, friend. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, you can straight up just move the vehicle instead of constantly flipping around. Like oh, I versions. couldn't. Oh, I'm dead. You could push your start button, probably. There I am. There you are. Wee! Welcome back. Look at me go. <laughs> yeah, I, I do like the little uh, roll that you have. Yeah. Oh, they got guitars up here in space too. I'm not going to have much other commentary for this, this is just a good-ass game. And one that was never ported, so if you want to play this, you're going to have to figure out man. In which case, good luck, fucker. Let's be nicer about it. Uh, best of luck, fucker. Good tidings, fucker! <laughs> now, I have played all the way through this, but I do know we have to play at least until the first cutscene. Pretty sure it's pretty Brutality safe. Brutality efficiency? Mm-hmm. Look at this. Whoa! Okay, that's cool. Yeah, there you go. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, Gaioko had plenty of jank, but if they put their mind to it, they could make a real kick-ass game. And this is one of them. Oh, load up. Oh, I'm still here. There we go. Ah, he's blown up. Alright, check out this part. You're gonna love this. Seven-year-old kid talking to talking to the superior officer, being all like, "Okay, honey." <laughs> and yeah, there's there's a lot of other cutscenes where yeah, uh, you have a back and forth with her. Oh my god, why is this game so cool? This game is freaking amazing. Wow. So so far, we've seen a tale of two Gaiokos. Uh, the Gaioko who produced stuff like Master Boy, and this Gaioko. This is the Gaioko I like the most. So play Alligator Hunt, by all means, please, do yourself a favor. We should probably make ourselves stop. Just, you gotta hit the escape key here. It's gotta no. be, it's gotta be you. No, I, okay, It's gotta okay. be you. Okay. Uh, okay, we're finally free. Alligator Hunt, play it. It is seriously a highlight, both for Gaioko and for MAME. Uh, Good stuff. But, not every Gaioko game is emulated in MAME. There are still several games, most notably their recent 3D stuff, that has not yet been emulated. Alex here has put together a nice compilation of off-screen footage of these unemulated games. So mm -hmm. you get to see them in action. Uh, maybe not in the best possible quality, but it's the best we're going to get until they're actually emulated. Yeah, one of some of the footage is it's off-screen, but it's like by an actual arcade reseller. So that's interesting. Yeah. So we got 10 minutes of that for mm -hmm. you. Enjoy that. Uh, bone up on your Gaioko history. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you all in 10 minutes. See you then. And we're back, and those were three games that you cannot play in MAME as of right now. You gotta seek out original cabinets for those particular Gaioko games. Those were Tokyo Cop, which is kind of an open-worldish uh, 
police chase game. Mm -hmm. I actually played this. It was at Einstein's in Austin, so I assume it had some kind of distribution here in the States. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, someone mentioned that it was similar to Reckless, the Yakuza missions, and yeah, it was pretty much just a small open world where you gotta just tear around it in a police car hunting after criminals. Pretty cool. Uh, the second game was Rolling Extreme, and... I'm pretty sure I've played that game, but in a different cabinet. Like, mm. I distinctly remember playing a street luge game where, like, you had to lie down practically on the floor. Yes, I remember something like that, too, but I was like, was that a Namco game? Because there were all those weird, I want to say Namco, but, like, a lot of, like, a, like a skiing game and shit like it that. It was either that or very similar, but I do remember playing a street luge game where, like, you had to practically lie on the floor of an arcade. <laughs> It was in Vegas somewhere, and I remember it distinctly because, like, you would just be lying on the floor in a crowded place, people walking past your head. <laughs> just really odd. And then that final game I've never seen in any form. That was Ring Riders. Uh, I thought that was a cute little gimmick. You mm -hmm. you go through the rings, a la Superman 64, and it lights up the little LED around you. That's cool. That's neat. So there you go. Uh, coming to MAME someday. Uh, a lot of those games have PC-based architecture, which can take a while to crack, so here's hoping. Someday. Someday. Let's continue our look at Gaioko's arcade library. We left off in 1994 when we played Alligator Hunt. That is uh, quite a game right there. Quite an excellent game. Next up, let's play a prototype called Bioplaything Cop. Hey, Danny, what? It'll make sense in a minute, I promise. Now, I want you to pay attention to both the title and the music in this game, because that's what sets it apart from the final version. Yep, it was originally titled Bio Plaything Cop. I, I guess. What a title. Alright, I'll spoil it now. Uh, you probably know this game better as Biomechanical Toy. But in this version, he was supposed to be a cop, I suppose. Scrubby! Yeah, that's Scrubby. Scrubby! The criminal scrubby. Oh, I love the criminal scrubby. Now, I'm not going to play this. I'm just going to let it start up so you can hear the music and compare it to the final version. Which is in English, I should point out. Hey, I love scrubby. Do you love bio plaything cop? That's a cool logo. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to start this up and listen to this music here just for a little bit. This is so Amiga! Yeah. Uh, in fact, this was developed by Zeus, who you may know for the Amiga game Risky Woods, among several others. Uh, yeah, like we said before, Gaioko picked up a lot of Amiga developers. This music sounds okay. Pretty appropriate for the theme. We can't have that. <laughs> no way. Exit the game. Let's play the real version. Alright. Biomechanical Toy. Now, I remember there being much rejoicing when this was added to MAME, because everyone played it and they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> and now you get to have that experience too. Yeah, play it. Yeah, so by the time this came out, it was 95, so it's been a few good months in development. And I guess they had their, their man, Joan San Marti, add his own distinct guitar soundtrack, because that's what you're about to hear. And we get to enjoy the intro in English. Ooh, that's it. Uh, bad news, folks. The famous criminal Scrubby escaped. Yeah, escape he escaped. He was, he was trying to rob the magic pendulum. Now in freedom, he swears to carry it out. Hey, I, again, I like Scrubby. Escape and Scrubby, they call him. Escape and Scrubby. The, toy, the toys enjoy the life of magic. So wait, are they toys? Yes. Yeah. You're a cop who's also a toy. Toy cop. Is Woody from Toy Story a toy cop? No, Buzz um, Lightyear is, though. Well, he was a sheriff, so... So they're both toy cops, okay. Will someone be able to help us? All toys are bastards. <laughs> Bio-mechanical... toy. That's, still that's still less, a really cool logo. It's pretty cool. That's cool. That's very cool. Now that's a credit noise for your ass right there. Just a sick guitar riff. <laughs> Just that's blasted good. right in your face. Uh, we gotta recover the pendulum. Oh my god, y'all aren't ready for this. This game, this game is is drugs. <laughs> I'll just I'll say that much. Well, I do like drugs, so. <laughs> this is music. No way. Both headphones in. It's so funky. 
yeah, it got a, a healthy dosage of funk in, uh, in traveling from prototype to final. So it's a mixture of bizarre electro funk and Hanna Barbera sound effects, as you're about to find out. Uh, let's play this game. This is a this is a pretty wild one. If you like Metal Slug? Give this one a shot. This is like. This is like an Amiga game at like the Los Alamitos Jazz Festival. <laughs> Pretty much. Also a lot of slowdown and frame dropping, but that's the original hardware. Okay, uh, v Bork mentions the initial full release of this, uh, not the cop prototype, has the original music and it runs more smoothly. Oh, wow. So I guess the music was only changed in the, uh, the American version or the English version? Possibly? Maybe it was a shift in hardware. Yeah, the the slowdown is very noticeable, so it would make sense that they planned it for different hardware. I got my motorcycle. But just this design, the audio design, the visual design... What? <laughs> That's about all I have to say. Oh yeah, you can jump on things too. So very much in the vein of their own Thunder Hoop series, but more of a run and gun. Those occasional mid bosses. Whoa! Yeah. A cool skeleton on a horse toy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a weird toy to have, but uh. this kid is twisted. <laughs> Whoever owns all these toys <laughs> must be Sid from Toy Story. You know, I actually think this game is. Uh, I saw some chat about Toy Story in this game in the chat, but I think this is pre Toy Story. It was like '94, yeah. Oh yeah, it would have been priest Toy Story. So okay. Pixar ripped this off. Yeah. So Man, yeah. everyone ripping off Guile Co. Sega ripped him off with Crazy Taxi. Yeah. Pixar ripped him off for Toy Story. James Pixar himself just was like, mm -mm. I gotta I gotta do it. I gotta rip this off. I gotta steal from the Spanish developer. And he turned to uh, Michael Eisner himself and said, I am going to commit an IP crime. Eisner gave him a big ol' thumbs up. Word for word, that's what he said. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm going to commit an IP crime. And then Steve Jobs was like, sure. Oh, we blew up the queen. Oh, she's huge now. And now she stars. All right, so check out the stage end uh, animation here. I think you're going to like this. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. That's, uh, that's a biomechanical toy. The whole game's like this, in case you're wondering. <laughs> yes, there were stories about living toys before this. You can even see cartoons from the 20s and 30s about living toys. But I know for a fact that James Pixar, a real living man and a corporate entity himself, <laughs> made this decision. Oh, you made me die. I have recorded proof and no, I will not show you. It's private and I don't know where it is. That's between you and James. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. James Pixar. Yeah, if you wanted a run and gun shooter that is on drugs, trademark, uh, yeah, this is, this is the one for you. We freed the genie. There he is. Wait, he's rubbing his own lamp. Oh, stop that! And the That's disgusting. Kill you. Genie rubbing his own lamp live on screen. Oh no, they're not killing you. They're uh, yeah. Look at that! Don't That's, do that. It's still profane. It's just wrong, dude. Well, yeah, biomechanical toy. One of their more famous games for good reason. Just fucking look at it. But if you thought that was amazing, uh, you don't know shit because the next game is Thunder Hoop Strikes Back. What? No. They made another Thunder Hoop? Yes, they did. And this one is two-player simultaneous, and you're going to play it with me, Alex. It's right above Biomechanical Toy. I see. Give me a sec. This, uh... Okay, this is the, the non-North America version, so I assume it somehow got a release over here? That's surprising to me for a few reasons, but... Okay, play it. Play it. Yeah, BBH says, oh no, because he knows. This is, oh. this is Thunder Hoop 2. TH strikes back. There's no come. There's no going back from here, folks. Cool. I love when we've reached the point of no return. This is the point of no return. Once you've seen this, this is one of those things that cannot be unseen. Good news, Goku's back. Uh, Whoa! This, who died? This picks up right after the end of the first game. Or excuse me, ten years after the first game.
Goku's all grown up, and he's pissed. He's striking back. I like this music. I'm telling you, they got the I hot jams. It's like this dreamy guitar chords. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. We just turned down the sound. I forget balancing is an issue with these games. <laughs> Okay, Alex, I'm going to ask you one last time. Are you sure you want to do this? Um, I saw this described as uh, Thunderhoop 2, TH gets horny, so let's just do it. <laughs> let's done. do it. Let's play the game. Whoa, he's cool. Yeah, Goku is big now, and he is ripped. All right, I like this. Now, this is like the original what? game. <laughs> I don't know. What did she say, Danny? I, I didn't hear it. You can you can shoot, and you can also jump on enemies' heads. Uh, in fact, this game plays a lot like Whoa, Sunset Riders. Whoa, I look like an asshole! Whereas the first game was a Toki clone, this is more along the lines of uh, Sunset Riders. Yeah, you may want to turn down the volume. Oh gosh, yes. No, 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 no. You maximized it. You maximized it. <laughs> as much as I like that. No, oh man, it's still, it's still really loud, but whatever. Uh, it's better. I'll, I'll get it in a sec. Yeah, this plays a lot like Sunset Riders, or um, <laughs> what was the sequel to Sunset Riders? Mystic Warriors or something? Did they have a sequel to Sunset Riders? They did, except it starred ninjas instead of Is that of a mummy? Don't worry about it. We, okay. We're going to be seeing a lot of things here. I whoa, know. whoa, I had to kill a boyfriend. This sucks. In the background, you may hear the distinct guitar riff from uh, Owner of a Lonely Heart. Also, I called it a guitar rift. It's a it's a portal to open. <laughs> so in this game, you fight mostly dinosaurs and women. I'm not really quite sure why that is. It's weird. I don't know why Goku pissed off those two groups of people in in, uh, in particular. When explode! Oh also, my yes, god! Also, uh, yes. The thing you have here is some kind of expansion ray, so everything uh, expands to maximum size and then just blows up. In a whole bunch of guts. Yeah. Yeah, these are really lavish, really lavish detailed animations too. So you get to see all the frames of the person expanding and exploding. Oh, now I'm pissed. Yeah, this is Dig Dug Extreme, yes. You may look at it that way. It is pretty extreme, I'll give it that. Yeah, this is, this is for all you, sorry to be disgusted, this is for all you goddamn perverts out there, I guess. Man, did you notice the pose the lady took when she was aiming up at us? She just, like, pointed her butt right towards the camera. <laughs> it's that kind of game. That's it. Yeah, this game is loud and proud. Same. <laughs> now watch this guy. He'll back up into you with his uh, spiky back. Oh, no. He oh, flattened you got me! Squished. That was all nasty and flattened! But like the first game, in spite of its looks, this is a really well-playing game. Its the mechanics are really good, it's very responsive. I'd say it's right up there with Sunset Riders in terms of playability. It's just a lot weirder. Oh shit. No one expanded and exploded in Sunset Riders, in other words. Good! They shouldn't! Whoa, he's barfing up blood! He's gonna blow up. Oh, he just Whoa. melted. Whoa! He melted and we're pissed. <laughs> Not weirder, but hornier? Well, the horny in and of itself is weird. It's kind of out of place. Hi. It's like, oh, you got these big booby ladies, but then they expand and explode, like... Yeah, I, I guess, I guess that, uh, totally... That was just the... Mm, Danny, I don't know if we can stream this game. What? Why? I thought I saw nudity, but I guess... You know. That's guy will go. That's fair enough. It's non-sexual nudity. Trust <laughs> me, there's nothing sexual about this. There's <laughs> nothing sexual about making all these it's creatures... Just, it's just Geiger backgrounds with big booby ladies who expand and explode. Mm -hmm. People get Normal flat. things, you know? Yeah, this, this, is, this, this does have that totally spies feel to some of this. Don't like it. Oh man! Oh, I just like how you were right. you I just were like right. how powerful this game makes you feel. Like everything you yes. shoot explodes, and you just have this ridiculous weaponry. I'm just watching a whole bunch of titties explode. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Well, 
That's that's the Gaioko difference right there. That was, these are just straight up xenomorphs now. I guess I guess we had to make big titty xenomorphs up. It's a winning formula. Can't mess with it. God, just look at this pixel. Uh. It's amazing, but like also kind of off-putting in many ways. But amazing. Little rat back there. Good. Like, how many frames of animation go into that? These frog monsters exploding. Like, goddamn. They're just like. Bleh. Whoa! Oh my Whoa. god! That's so cool! It's a razor blade wyvern. Oh, do you have a bomb? Oh, you do have a bomb button. Okay. He's like, ow! <laughs> now, at the same time, there's... I've never been so conflicted about a game, because there's no way I can recommend this. Like, it plays really great, it's super fun, but... Man, the aesthetics are gonna be a big turnoff for a lot of people. Yeah, it's kind of... that part's pretty bad. Not a big, uh, some of the aesthetics are cool, like this guy. Yeah. Very cool. Big fan of this. I'll make this... Uh, making this guy explode? Fine. I'm, I'm down, but... Maybe they're oh, cyborgs. We need more credits. What if the ladies are cyborgs? What would you do then? Uh, well, they still have weird big titties and explode in a way where it's like tit first. Well, of course. Uh, these deluxe pink guts. I wish it's. BBH, I don't know what you're talking about, and maybe maybe that's a good thing. I, I, mean, want, I wonder what the worst boss is. This game is angry, horny, and dumb at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what gets me. Like, I can see I can see the horniness. I can see the violence. When you mix horny and violence, it's just weird. Yeah. Like it's just it's something that's no longer horny or violent. It's just kind of this weird in between. Oh, if we both die, we have to go back to a checkpoint. Okay. Well, we probably won't be playing much longer, but this is a pretty excellent game. I do recommend checking it out. Uh, we haven't done Surf Plenty yet, but that's coming up. That's coming. It'll be in a few games. Hey, I survived! Hey, good. Good job. Uh, this part is clearly horny, violent Donkey Kong Country. If you ever wanted those minecart levels to get your motor going, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just thinking of some kind of just insufferable critique of Galico that's like the erotic violence. <laughs> Spectacle and sexuality in 90s arcade games. <laughs> hey, you could write that article. I don't know, no. Someone in chat write that and... Someone pitch me. it to Polygon. <laughs> That's more of a wait... Sounds like more of a waypoint thing. Oh, yeah. Polygon doesn't report on cool things. Danny! That's what I would say to the editor. I'd be like, oh, that's right, I forgot. You don't like cool things like Dial Go. And that's how I'll convince him to print it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really going to get folks to talk about us in the, in, in, in the industry. They're... He'll be like, I'll show you. I'll totally print this game about the horny, violent game. I'll totally print anything, any any wise critique about the erotic violence in the 90s arcade. Well, I will say there is no game quite like TH Strikes Back, aka Thunder Hoop 2. Uh, if you like your ladies voluptuous and exploding, this is the game for you. Jesus! But I think we should move on because we have yeah. quite a few more games to go. <laughs> Despite it all, I'd say this is one of their best games. It's really technically impressive, it plays well. Uh, it's just, you know. It's got uh. some style to it. Oh boy. Let's move on. Let's let's go back to normal. Let's let's reset ourselves. We are no longer horny and exploding. Instead, we're playing a game called Last KM. All right. I forgot which game this was. Cool. Bicycling game? I hope so. But is it horny? How many people are exploding? All right, no discourse about vid about about what you call it in the chat. I don't want to deal. Oh, I was I was just fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that article is equally unprintable no matter which outlet it's don't being worry. pitched to. No one can read it. But back to Guyalco.
and Zeus, the creators of Biomechanical Toy. Yeah, yeah, cars, yeah! All these background people. These are cool. This is a cycling game. So this is something you don't see very often in arcade games. Uh, often they put you in control of cars, motorcycles, uh, even street luge in some cases. Whoa! Mejoras Tiempos looks really cool! That is the most 90s uh, high score screen I've ever into seen. Into it, into it, this is good. Last KM. Or last mile, if you're in the States. You're welcome. Oh, jeez. Let's play the game. Oh, he's so lonely. Oh, is this? Am I supposed to play? No, don't bother. Please. I'm pretty sure this is a Link Cabinet game. Okay, well, they have actual people here, including the famous John Smith from America. Oh, I love the aesthetics of this game. This game is great. Does this game even use a stick? I think this is just a button control game. Well, let's give it a shot. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, I tried playing this. <laughs> I tried playing this earlier. I could not figure it out. Uh, anyone happen to know how to play the Guileco cycling game? Because I don't know. Alex, you wanna you wanna bring up the uh, the input menu? I wanna see. No, I wanna no, see. I don't. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna <laughs> go to machine, go to. Right? Yes. Just there's no stick. It's just three buttons. All right. Okay. Well, uh, let's let's give it a shot. What game just uses three buttons? Oh, the third button. The third button. Oh my god, he's going so fast. Yeah, the third button is the go button. Look at me go. Oh my god. Uh, let's hit F3. <laughs> okay. I want to have a real shot at this race now right, that I, I know believe, how to play. I believe in you, Danny. Oh yeah, Bishibashi. Well, this is not Bishibashi. <laughs> no. Okay, now I know what the go Nine, button is. Eight, this guy's going to wait patiently. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shift up on straightaways and down on hills. Yeah, that sounds like the way to go. Oh, I didn't pick the American. Ah, oh, whatever. Ready? Three, two, Here we go. One, go! Oh my god! Fuck all y'all! Holy shit! I'm the number one bicyclist and don't you forget it! One. Two. Whoa, look at Marilyn, that weird zoom on Marilyn Monroe's mouth! <laughs> Doing it. I'm gonna win the race. Okay, you gotta, when it's straight, you gotta go two. And then third gear when you're going downhill, I think? It's nice that they give you the map at the bottom. That is very helpful. I gotta say, I've never played an arcade game quite like this one. This is a pretty unique setup. <laughs> that guy's just cheating! You're on a motorcycle! That's cheating! That's absolutely cheating! Get him off the track! Well, of course he won! That's bullshit! Unbelievable. This game. No, no. You can just keep changing your gears? I think we have to wait for everyone to finish. It's just polite. Uh. Uh. Oh, whoa! whoa yeah. Hey, jeez! <laughs> oh, no. Welcome back to the 90s, everyone. <laughs> the 90s is very aggressively yelling at us. Great. Triple D. That's me. I won. Oh, except for the guy on the motorcycle. Of course he won. Oh. John Smith. He would never use a motorcycle. He would know. That's it. That's the game. <laughs> That's all you get. All right. This is a one and done. Uh, you get one credit, and whether you win or lose the race, the game kicks you out. That's it. Oh, this game was a prototype? Oh. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, MAME doesn't list it as a prototype, but I guess that makes sense. Yeah. All right. That's pretty next? cool. Next game. Next is Touch and Go. Yeah, that's totally the kind of title I really want to stream. Let's hey, do Danny, it. Hey, Danny, I don't... I'm done. No, no, we're not playing. 
what kind of game could this possibly be? Please be normal. Please be... What? That's not normal. <laughs> oh my word! Hang on. Okay. Um. This is a super widescreen game. I guess I didn't test this one out. Let me... Let me... Um, I'm gonna make this really small first, because it looks like it's really widescreen, but it also looks like only a part of the screen is showing. Volley. Volleyball. Beach volleyball. Touch and go. Okay, um, I don't know if it's gonna use all of this, but... Whatever, let's play. Alright. Oh. oh, it's only in... <laughs> it's only in one! I assume this is a two-screen game, but it loads up a two-screen format but only shows one screen. Okay, if it's not gonna be, uh... I don't understand you, Gaioko. Well, they did it. They did a volleyball game. This is that. Only okay. one button to jump and shoot. Sounds good. Uh, tab video options. Thank you, BBH. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm All just right. gonna play this for a few seconds. Okay, well... Everything else I have... It's because I moved the thing. I I moved my I moved the 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 keycap spike to prevent me from pressing it. That's touch and go. Let's move on to the next game, World Rally Two. Sure, glad I got to play that. I, you want to go back? No. <laughs> okay. Let's play World Rally Two. Oh come on! I set this one up. All right, you're gonna have to fix this one. Push the button and now go to video options. Uh, tab. Oh, actually. No, that looks fine, actually. Don't bother changing it. Uh. World Rally, twin racing. So for this one, this is another two-monitor setup game. Uh, one player would have one monitor and the other would be right next to him. I did set this up to, to just have one screen, but... Mame had issues with that. It's okay, though. It looks fine. I'm gonna play it. So this is a sequel to Gaioko's mega-hit World Rally. Uh, again, not a game they developed themselves. This one they outsourced to a different company. Not Zeus, but someone else. I don't know if this one was as big as a hit as the first one, but... Yeah, this, uh, this is also only in one channel. Uh, okay, Ziggurat uh, Software is the devil. Ziggurat Software, that's what it is. Thank you. Ready. Yeah, they worked with quite a few Three, teams over in two, Spain. One, and if you're familiar with the first game, the second game shouldn't be much of a surprise. I mean, why mess with a formula that works? What I can say is that while I like these games, I do prefer Neo Drift Out on Neo Geo. It's just slightly better. Still, these are quite fun. See, uh, not as blombie as I'd like. Yeah, I've... Yeah, I've I... seen blombier. Mm -hmm. You, Yeah, they, you can't really go back after experiencing blombie car. <laughs> they need to tighten up the blombie on level 3, definitely. <laughs> Oh, you gotta add more Blombie to this track. You're gonna start out with a track that has this little Blombie in it? Why would players even play it? They're gonna destroy your machine while chanting Blombie, Blombie, Blombie. <laughs> just, an, just a whole Blomp bath. Just disgusting. Oh, there's my Blombie team. They're tightening up the Blombiness. Mm, good, good. Ready. Three, this game does two, add new features, one, though, like go. nighttime races. That's a neat effect. Just remember, righty tidy, lefty blondie. Mm hmm. And if Alex doesn't like the game, he's just gonna hit escape and make you quit. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm looking at it. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> you uh, should not have given me this much power, Danny. It's like the fucking gong show up in here. <laughs> Except Alex is the gong. I was gonna say, you've got your, you got your paper bag on, you're the unknown comic. <laughs> Ah, well, we're... folks, here we're, we're we're here to play a volleyball game from Gaoko. Alex is like gong. <laughs> ah, gong show jokes, unknown comedian jokes, something everyone our age will get. Let me tell you all about a little show called Laughing. <laughs> Ironically, despite the title, it was never funny. Here's my here's my 
Here's my big piece for fights about the erotic violence of hee Oh boy, here we go. All right, yeah, World Rally 2. Not too surprising. I guess the addition of a two-player mode would be pretty nice. I'd like to have a head-to-head -head fight with you in this game sometime. BBH has a suggestion for next time. Uh, there's an option in MAME to confirm quit on pressing escape. Uh, so there's like okay, an Alex we, mode. Okay, we need to enable that. Yeah, thing. yeah, we it's an Alex. I didn't actually know about that. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. We got just a few more games. We can get through them real quick. Oh yeah, what's next? Next up, why don't you play the very next one, Maniac Square. Now, this is not a very remarkable game, but it does have history behind it. Uh, maybe BBH can help fill me in on this. There was some kind of, uh, some kind of rabble being roused with the prototype of this game. Like, it was dumped for a long time, but never released or something like that. And I'm pretty sure the prototype helped people decrypt the other encrypted Gaioko games because it didn't have the encryption in it yet. It also looks very different from the final version. You want to play a two-player competition? Yes. Let's do it. You know me in you know me in puzzle games. Yeah, do it. All right, I press start. Mhm. Mm do it. Ready? Oh, prototype's way better apparently. Well, we'll have to check that out in a second. Yeah, I do remember there was some kind of major upset. Like, people were upset that that prototype got dumped for one reason or another. But I mean, man, it's history. You can't stop the progress of history. But Danny, I want to try. Don't you do it. You sure? You can't. I want to turn back time. Yeah, so this is columns, except instead of three blocks, you're dropping two, and you can rotate them. Nothing too new or exemplary for the puzzle genre. It's just a game that exists. But that's Gaelco. Like, one day they're releasing a cycling game, the next is a volleyball game that Alex quits instantly. And then the, next day, and then no. the next day they're putting up uh, puzzle games. They can do a little bit of everything, these guys. Sad that volleyball game never, never made it past testing because you kept quitting. Listen, you want to be on the gong show, you gotta deal with the gong. That's the motto. Is that the modern version of uh, mess with a bull, get the horns? <laughs> yes, the modern version, if 1972 is considered modern. <laughs> Nothing but modern jokes. <laughs> ah, no. Alex, bad move. Ah, this is okay. It's this, not horrible. This is normal. It's right? a normal game. So, why don't you start up that prototype version? The version we weren't meant to see. Mm. I Yeah, it's been so long, I don't remember the details of the story, but some people were had a very vested interest in keeping this prototype under wraps. And then MAME emulated it, and that all went out the window. So this is the forbidden version we weren't meant to play. I'm pretty sure that's how that story goes. Don't tell your mom. Yeah, don't tell your mom. You may be expecting a very similar game, but in fact, it's pretty different. Give me the priority. Oh, yes. Thank you. All right, two player. Like music. Play some secret prototype what? game. And look how different this looks. Just in terms of aesthetics, like it's got a, a little LED screen in the middle. Is there music? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, and the pieces explode. I like that part better. This is like a hyper, like, the explosion's like it's like a hyper-masculine columns. Mm-hmm. Eh, that's not true. There's too many colors here. This ain't your mom's columns. Whoa, it got all techno. I win. It's still not very exciting. I, it is just a video wait, game. Wait, am I just hanging out I here? think I have to wait for you. Yeah, that there we go. That sucks. <laughs> that does suck. I wouldn't have waited in the arcade. I'd just been like, see you later. Ready? Go! I guess if there's one thing you could take away from this, it's that Gaioko, like any other company, iterated on its own uh, projects, like, heavily. We saw several games that were unreleased, a lot of different prototypes. 
they put honest to god work into their games. And something we mentioned during their last stream that I didn't mention yet is that they controlled every part of the manufacturing process. They programmed the games, uh, hired studios to make them in some cases, they programmed the software, designed the hardware, produced the hardware, and then shipped it out to arcades once it was done. So like every part of the process they had a hand in. Really impressive for a smallish company in, uh, in Spain at the time. Alex is grooving out. This music is great. All right, let's move on. Okay, we're out of here. We're entering the final stretch here. Uh, this is 1996 that game came out. We only got a handful of games left before Gaioko exited the business, unfortunately. But in 96, they also released Snowboard Championship. Snowboards are big. They're big money. You got your cool boarders. You got your alpine racer. You got your normal boarders for snowboarders who are just kind of normal. <laughs> Normal not cool, borders. but not awful. Just normal. Yeah, weird that normal borders didn't sell nearly as well as cool borders. Yeah. This is from their frequent collaborator, OMK. Or M Mumpk. I read his Mumpk. 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 It's extreme. It's... I don't know. I don't. I don't want to know what that guy's doing. It's sensation. an extreme sensation. Oh boy! Ex exploit. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> that was not the word I expected to see. Oh, uh, look at those cool! <laughs> yeah, these are some graphics right here. Oh, this deluxe paint shit is so good. The monk starring Tony Shalhoub. Great. <laughs> Snowboard. Snowboard Championship. Wow, what a title. Let's play it. Uh, I'd say I'm a speed beginner. I'm not yet a combined champion. Okay. Not yet a speed freak. Just kind of, you know, experimenting with speed. <laughs> See you guys. Ball. Ready? Three, two, one. There you go. I'm boarding. Oh, okay. So you can think of this as a as World Rally in reverse, I guess. You're going towards the lower left corner of the screen instead of the upper right, and you're yeah. going downhill. A lot of pre-rendered graphics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At this point, uh, the whole pre-rendered sprites approach was it was the big thing to do. And Gaioko was no different. I oh. suck at this. Oh god, he is wearing a backwards baseball cap! He's so cool! He's gonna get... He's, he must be freezing! Yeah. This game does not control like you think it would. Like, right turns left and left turns right for some reason. Yeah! yeah. Okay. I did it. Qualified. I qualified. Pretty good for a speed beginner. He whips out his guitar. <laughs> that was cool, actually. Player one, ready, three. Look at that guy up there in the upper right. Oh, he's he's behind the thing. But... He's so cool. He's very slowly cheering <laughs> you on. You can do it, man. Yeah, the crowd sprites in this game are amazing. Yeah, they're ten out of ten. This is pretty good sprite work. A loop de loop. Oh, dude! Oh, man! What is this, Action Park? I love this! <laughs> oh, if only the controls weren't reversed. I guess you can fix that through remapping and MAME. Yeah. It just feels weird. Maybe this game had a non-standard control input, now that I think about it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, folks, sorry, I forgot how to snowboard. Fine. Took a few hits and I, you know, I just forgot everything about what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, here we go. Uh, yes. Oh, nope. Fun. Skip Oh, it. no, no, no loops for you. You're like, screw <laughs> the... Oh, you got disqualified. Should have done the loop. Shall we move on? Let's move on. <laughs> that mournful guitar whale? Oh, that poor mournful oh, guitar whale. All right, what's next, love? It looks like we have just four more games to get through in the space of about ten minutes, so let's get started. Speed up. <laughs> I will! 
Oh, I will. Speed up. So this game, they distributed worldwide with help from Namco, which is kind of weird considering that this game is just a blatant ripoff of Ridge Racer. Still, can't have too much Ridge Racer, I guess. Also interested to see how well this game runs considering it's 3D. Also, what is their logo, now that I think about it? What, it's good! It's it's just like a couple of swooshes. <laughs> They're like... Rrr. Oh, look at those graphics. really quiet. Oh no, I want the Tex-Mex circuit. No, come on. Come on. I've been craving some Tex-Mex. Oh, now you gotta be in Barcelona. Do you want me to reset? Uh, yeah. Uh. Okay, go to the input menu if you would. Okay. Um... Go to Paddle Analog mm -hmm. and hit Enter. Scroll down. Okay, maybe that fixed things. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, analog games are always a pain in the ass. As, once again, you can tell if you've watched PBH's stream. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I feel you every time you say goddamn analog, because <laughs> analog is a pain. Let's play this video game. Uh, yeah, that's a little better. Tex-Mex! Tex-Mex! Tex-Mex circuit! Yes! Folks, we're gonna get us some Tex-Mex. Ah, I want a nice pink car. Well, I'm gonna go get Tex-Mex. Uh, I'd love to raise the volume, but unfortunately it's as loud as it'll go. This is a very quiet game. Well... Uh, did I map the gas key? Map the gas key, would you? Why is this... Why did it default to keyboard? Okay, do button... Do just button one, if you would. Do button two while you're at it. Thank you. Should I have to do button three? Nah. Okay. Let's go back. I gotta run the Tex-Mex circuit. Should I reset it? One of those wasn't the accelerator? Are you fucking kidding me? You why are isn't the, last. Why isn't the first button the accelerator? Should I do another? Um, yeah, map the other buttons, please. Okay. I should note, this is not unusual when dealing with MAME. If you ever want to set up MAME, this is something you got to do a lot. Is that it? Yeah, that should be it. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh wait, no, it's pedal. P1 pedal analog. Yeah, click that one, please. Alright, let's do it. There here we go. go. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. I'm going. I'm kind of shaky. <laughs> Look at him go! So, this is what a Gaioko version of Ridge Racer looks like. Pretty good, especially for the time. I'd say this looks better than uh, the PlayStation hardware they were using around that time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. BBH, I have no idea how you do it. I, this is... You make it look so much easier mm -hmm. than it is. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, you have no idea what it's like to mess with MAME until you've actually done it. Up and... Can I take focus after you click Tex Mex? Yeah. Only a second. Select Burn round. More. Okay. Yeah, that should do it. Alright. Here we go. I'm ready. Let's race. Uh, 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 there we go. Okay, go. we're racing. Okay, that cup just said Humdinger on it. Did That's it? it. Yeah. Nice. Look at this true rarity. A 3D racing game with proper controls running in MAME. Did you see that fucked up face? Uh-uh. That was cool. Hey, this game is cool. It's pretty cool, especially for the time. A lot of racers had trouble standing out from the crowd, given the competition was stuff like Ridge Racer and Daytona USA, but this looks alright. And it's got a Tex-Mex circuit. Okay, apparently this game ran on a Namco System 22, uh, a, a, a lower-powered version of the Namco System 22 hardware. Oh man, I just got done saying that this looks better than PS1 hardware, but that's basically PS1 hardware. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Namco System 21 and 22 are variants of PS1 hardware. 
Uh, this is very Texas accurate. Um, I'm always passing by the giant humdingers and the pyramids. Uh, I love humdingers. And the parrot jungle, it's perfect. Humdinger. Humdinger. True Texas classic. I wish you drove by like Big Tex and like he'd be on fire. I was gonna say, or the Cavender's boot in town and it's also on fire. It's also on fire. <laughs> Why do all of our large monuments explode into flame? Just, everything's just the everything's Texas better way. in Texas, I guess. Oh, this is also Route 66, which is also in Texas. Don't forget, if you're the last, you move. Thanks. Danny, don't forget, if you're in last, you Is that a jackalope? That was a jackalope! That was... I got yes. distracted by the jackalope. Uh, the sign called it a rabbit, which is clearly untrue. The jackalope is its own creature. You have to respect the jackalope. Oh, that's cool. Uh, B-Bark mentions that the 3D chip in this one was developed by Galco themselves. Ow, wow. Yeah, they, they did all the work in terms of hardware and prototyping and stuff. Just real impressive. Oh, I didn't... I was last. That was worth it for the jackrabbit, honestly. That was worth it. I'm glad we got some gameplay out of that. Speed up! S speed up, Danny! Speed up! Not a bad game. Let's move on. Three to go. Next up is the classic Surf Planet, which is going to get us copyright dinged, but I don't care. Oh, well. Uh, this game uses licensed music from the Spanish equivalent of Sub Pop Records, I'm pretty sure. Let me change something real quick. There. Tell you my love. We are ultra copyright. Uh, Thank you. Yep, that's Dover, who you may have heard in Rock Band 3. They have a song in there called uh, King George. They're a lady fronted pop punk band, I guess you could say. Real surprised to hear their music pop up in here, but they are Spanish, so it makes sense. Also, they got that wild 90s aesthetic going on. I love it. I really like it. I like it so much. Let's see, uh, check on Blombie Borders 3D. <laughs> Blombie Borders? Oh, what I wouldn't give for a Blombie Borders. Oh my god, look at them. I don't think my controls are set up for this one either, but whatever. Let's, let's just... Alright. <laughs> No way! No way! This is how you play the game! Okay, well... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going well. No way! You're in fourth place! Out of four! Still, I'm pretty happy we got through 80% of the stream before Mame forgot all my controls. That's also not an uncommon thing with Mame. Warning! You're low on wax! I gotta get wax! <laughs> Bonkers, wax up. <laughs> Alex! Okay. Uh, fix my controls, please. Okay, no way! I want to play this game. Uh, yeah, click uh, click that first one there. Paddle this... analog. Yes. Okay, should uh, I do uh, the next two, or is that just that? Uh... No, should be fine. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's play the game for real this time. Ah, yes, controls. That helps. Jason. He's not funny. He has like a cool like mask on. All these all these models are kind of jittery, like I wonder if these are just like drawn animation frames instead of real-time polygons. Got that wax. Mm -hmm. All wax. Again, someone cheating here. I don't like that. You need to take those people out of these out of these though. Yeah, seriously. Keep a level playing field. Mm -hmm. It's only fair. Made out of like twenty polygons. You need you need any advantage you get. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can flip. Look at that helicopter. How is that? He's got a machine gun. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, you missed your wax. I missed my wax. Okay, oh, you're I'm good. screwed. You'll be, you'll, no, no, I think you'll be okay. Okay. Just, just uh, don't be really cool. You gotta have my wax. Extremely shitty. Oh, that that that's that not... dude was just in a tank. <laughs> yeah, Code Man, this is really really nineties typography, and it's fucking great. I love I it. Love it. Yeah. yeah, this this era is very distinct. 
this. You can very clearly tell what era it was just by looking at the fonts. Oh, come on! I don't know if it's, easy, it's obvious to tell, but like, I was, I am super inspired by this era of graphic design. I love it. That's why <laughs> Retro Pals looks like it does. Man, I want, I, I really wanted to go wilder with some of that. This is, this is good. Oh, warning, low wax! I had low wax, but I still managed to skate over water. I am through. Yeah, this game's okay. I'd say it stands up favorably compared to stuff like Alpine Racer and other snowboarding games that were out in arcades. Though Alpine Racer was a skiing game, but same difference. I'll tell you what makes this game different. It's wax. It's, the, it's the wax mechanic. Oh, I'm dead. I guess the main takeaway here is that if you want to play these games, you got to have main. A lot of these games are very unique, very fun, worth playing, and yet they never left arcades. Uh, the only Gaioko games to get home ports, as far as I know, are Radical Bikers, which got a PS1 port in Europe, and of course Smash and Drive. <laughs> Smashing Drive got ports for GameCube, Xbox, PS2, and Game Boy Advance. I think that was Gaioko's intended big entry into the console market, and it didn't quite work out for me. I'd have liked to see more of their games, though. Hell, bring Thunderhoop home. Yes! Who has the right to Thunderhoop? <laughs> Give them to me. Maybe the, uh, the video game Senate hearings would have been set off by Thunderhoop instead of uh, Mortal Kombat in a better world. Oh my god, I got hit by the train! Apparently this game was huge in Brazil. Also, multiple people in chat being like, Is this snowbar boarding? Why is it called Surf Planet? It's a kind of surf... I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Good point, actually. <laughs> Let's move on to our final games here. Radical Action. <sighs> okay, well, here we go. Alex, hand me that mouse. St uh, start it up and then hand it to me, if you okay. would. Let me see if I need to adjust it. First. So long, long ago, I mentioned that we would be playing a Point Bank Blank clone by Gaelco, and the time has come. Yeah, see, not so easy, huh? It's not. It's yeah. not easy. Give it to me. Okay. <laughs> Alex is having trouble wresting control away from <laughs> Mame. <laughs> Bit managers, huh? There we go. Perfect. Ah. <laughs> Do y'all remember Point Blank, the Namco series of uh, light-hearted shooters with light guns? Well, Gaioko decided they want some of that money, and this is what they did. Give me, give me, give me control. Um, it's... there you go. Oh god, it's all- the mouse is all the way over here! You're clicking over here. Okay. It's almost... there you go. There we go. Mame, Mame's an adventure, folks. It is a hell of an adventure. Oh my god, quit fucking with me, please. Sorry. Okay, let's play this game. Point blank, except by Gaioko. Let's go. Oh, Bitmanager developed Smurfs on the Master System. Okay, that's where I heard about this. Sweet. So this is gonna be a pretty Smurfy game. Mmm. I need to Smurf a racetrack. Alright, I gotta shoot this cannon and break it with unlimited bullets. <laughs> Texas! You can't blame me for this! Yeah, for once I can't blame Alex for something. Okay, what happened there is I ended up double-clicking the title menu, which of course reduced the size of the window. You also ended up resetting the transform on the window in OBS. That's So good. now it's really tiny. There we go. Now it's big. And of course I just shoot the guy right in the face. Wow, right? this is... I just... I wasn't even looking and I'm just like, ah, oh, cool, racism, love it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, great. Okay, I can... I can control it now. By far my favorite part of the game is the uh, end of stage screen, which is just the Texas flag. Why is it Texas? <laughs> okay, don't click the title bar. Just click within the window. Oh, I've played this. No, this is hard. Failed.
I have not done Texas proud. Texas is mad at you. Alright, shoot the train and the assholes on the train. Not shoot the baby or the dynamite. You the first thing you did was shoot the baby and the dynamite. I mean... This is not the best way to play this game, let me tell you. With Another a, baby dead. With a wireless mouse on a bed. Probably not the intended way. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They really did mess up the Chilean flag here. Thank you, Chilean retro gamer. <laughs> Are we telling you not to shoot the baby? Look. I'm Texan. I'll shoot whatever I want. I guess. I okay, guess I have so. one bullet to shoot this. This is a. Uh, this is straight from Point Blank. Hey, I did it. Nice. That quarter didn't know what hit it. Okay. Let's see, Texas is okay with me now. Cause I'm a sharpshooter. You are. Shoot eight radius of the wheel. All right. No, no, no. It's sp it's the spokes. Uh go. oh, okay. I didn't know what they meant by radius. It obviously means spokes of the. Do we have to do this again, really? Can we just fin it. Do we? Do we have to do this? We, we, you get, you get, you get bang, right? Everyone gets bang. It's. Don't you quit? Don't you do it? I have one more game to go. So mean. I'm being nice. Uh, I don't like this. Yeah, this this being a Spanish take on old western style stuff it's not especially sensitive <laughs> also say. the fact that it was in the 90s mm -hmm. all right in our final game we get to shoot this bird finally all right get that bird but not the bird with the apple don't let them take the fruits oh they're taking the fruits god damn it they're just eating those fruits up there's my cursor there it is It's got a Japanese release as a gun gabacho. Oh. Yeah, typically Gaioko games got worldwide releases for the bigger games. Uh, I mentioned several were published in the US, and yeah, this has got a, a Japanese localization. Hopefully they kept the Texas flag, because that's so. the most important part. Oh, I died! Well, you are dead! You I are am a absolutely dead, man. dead. After the last couple of stages, I probably deserve to be. Yeah. Alex, here's your mouse back. Thank you. We got one more game to play, folks. We're finishing we're finishing things off the right way. One final game that's emulated in MAME. And while that while the last game was a take on one tradition, that being guns, our final game It's a soccer game. <laughs> Let's play it. I saw the name football power and I'm like, oh it's gonna be like a Texas football game or something, but no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's the worldwide football. The soccer ball. Mm. So this cabinet, uh, I encourage you to look it up because this cabinet has two joysticks like mounted on pillars and the main star of the attraction is a kickable football. Like to, to kick the football in this game you have to physically kick a football with your, with your foot. And by that I mean soccer ball. Mm. Alex, you want to play this? Want to finish things off with two-player soccer? Yes. Let's do it. Now, this also uses licensed music like Surf Planet did, but if I keep talking, they'll never notice. They, they never will. Look at they'll, these graphics. They'll just be like, oh, this is the uh, Retro Pals vocal remix, the artistic <laughs> spoken word version of this song. We, uh, due to the First Amendment rights, we cannot copyright claim this video. We'll never need it. Let's play some football power. Oh, I love that aesthetic. I'm ready. I'm ready. You gotta press start. Yeah, push your button. Okay. Get oh, ready you. to fight for the European Championship. Thank you, Raccoon Violet, for the two-month-in-a-row sub. Do appreciate it. And now I gotta choose who I am. Uh, oh, it's a spark. I thought it said spank, and I was gonna get really spank. upset. <laughs> oldies! Yes! I love the oldie station! It's got vocal theme. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because it's... Yeah, license, license music. music. Oh, that's you. You gotta kick it. Is that you? Yeah. Where am I? Oh, I see. I'm coming up behind you. Go back. Oh, am I running? I'm running towards my own goal. I gotta get this up here somewhere. 
Yeah, kick it all the way over there. Is anybody protecting the goal? Does anybody know what they're doing? <laughs> now again, if you follow BBH's streams, you'll know that there's no shortage of soccer games. But this one's okay, and it's got a unique element of you having to kick an actual ball to, to do anything. Wow, I still have the ball! No one can stop me! Now the fun part is, uh, the ball kicking is analog. Wow! And that's emulated in MAME through an analog input, which I set to the right stick on my controller. Uh, Alex doesn't have a right stick, so he doesn't get to kick the football. <laughs> you are the divorced gamer! Oh man, not again. <laughs> Supposed to get in the goal, Danny. Uh, push the right stick. Okay, can I just? Maybe Alex is just gonna run away with the football. Oh my God! You ran into the goal. <laughs> no way! Yes. I engineered this game so there'd be no way you could win. <laughs> and yet, all right, here yeah, we go. I'm sorry. No way! No way! Yeah, so if you play this in MAME, you can set it to the right analog stick on an Xbox One controller. That controls both uh, passing and just shooting, I think. No way. And it requires no, some it technique. I'm doing it again. Go, go, go. Don't get you out do it. Way. Get out of my way. <laughs> Don't get. You get away from there. You get away from my goal. There was like five dudes in the goal net, and no one could stop Alex. Look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. This is an embarrassment. The soccer hooligans are refusing to riot in protest. No way! They're like, this is... <laughs> uh, no, 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 we're not done. <laughs> oh, man. You bring that ball back. You. M oh, whoa! <laughs> Alex taking away the player model. He's playing dirty. You give me that football. You give me that football. What? Oh, free soccer ball for some lucky kid in the crowd. <laughs> soccer is good again. It's it is fantastic. So I take it you like this game. This is a pretty good one. I like I like playing this game where I don't have a kicking ability because it makes it really interesting. <laughs> and yet you still win somehow. This game does have a very dynamic camera. It's positioned so that you can see pretty much the whole field in front of you. I'm a good man. Doing my best to survive in a it, difficult world. It does have buttons for dribbling and blocking, uh, though all all other actions are controlled by kicking the actual ball. Wow, Alex wins! <laughs> Even though I couldn't kick the ball! The, the upset of the century. Uh, again, Alex did not have control over kicking the ball. This is a victory for, oh for Alex's Worldwide. Yes. Uh, you should be proud. I'm very proud. That, and that right there is football power. <laughs> and that's Gaioko. The best possible way we could possibly end that, that stream. Alex, against all odds, <laughs> with the deck stacked against you. Like, it wasn't even that. I, I had like 12 decks and you had zero. And yet you still managed to win the damn soccer game. <laughs> what an upset. Oh. And by that I mean I'm upset. <laughs> That was fun. That I'm was glad good. we did that. Thank you. Uh, we got a hundred thoops for a great stream. Thank you, BMF. <laughs> nice. Thank you. I love those thoops. Uh, and there you go. That's Gaelco. Uh, a very, very interesting company. And I hope you have a better idea of what arcade gaming was like in Spain in the 90s. Wasn't too much different from what we saw over here. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the same genres covered. Uh, if anything, there was a little bit more variety. I never saw any cycling games over here. And snowboarding games, there weren't that many. But Gaioko, they did it all. They took on the world, and they left a lasting impact, for better and for worse. <laughs> I'm thinking specifically of Thunderhoop Returns here. Yeah. In any case, their games are unforgettable. And once again, your one takeaway, play Alligator Hunt. Play Alligator Hunt. Such a good game. We're done. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks to Goku for starring in Thunderhoop as well as Thunderhoop Strikes Back. Mm -hmm. uh, couldn't have done it without you, Goku. Thanks, Goku. Much appreciated. Yeah, Guileco, quite a company. Uh, I'm glad we were able to get through the whole catalog. Only took us two weeks. <laughs> but I'd say, as far as meme streams go, anyone you can walk away from is a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy with uh, what we showed off tonight. Thanks, Launchpad. Interesting lineup of games. Very interesting indeed. 
So we're retro pals. We do this sort of thing a lot. We stream multiple times a week. Uh, we make videos for YouTube, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash retro pals, pitch in as little as $1, and you can get access to our brand new video about the original Kingsfield for the PlayStation. A new episode of PlayStation Year Zero is out, and you can watch it right now. You can. Right it's, now. It's good. If you like, you can also vote for what we play during our weekly streams. Uh, people voted for Gaioko, and mm -hmm. it almost killed us, but we did it. We, we did it. <laughs> we made that happen. So, yeah, that's all on our Patreon. Go check that out. Definitely. Alex, wrap us up. I'll look for a host. All right. Well, if you want to see uh, when we go live, when we have new stuff up on YouTube, and uh, whenever we've got anything cooking, uh, you can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash retropileshq. We also post our Mascot Friday polls there. We, all, uh, along, uh, we post them there, and we also post the poll in the Discord. So if you do want to vote on our, what we play every Friday, follow us on Twitter, or join the Discord, or just, I don't know. Oh yeah, check out the Discord. It's yeah. good. A lot um, of good people there. A lot of good talk. Let's see. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com slash retropals. That's where we post our original scripted video. We've got some archive co archival content, and uh, we also post highlights of our stream. And as Danny mentioned, we do have a new episode of PlayStation Year Zero coming out soon, probably in a couple of weeks to YouTube. So do do check us out there if you are, I don't know, if you like YouTube. Do you, do you like, like video YouTube? games? Do yeah. you like YouTube? Does anybody like well? I say, does anybody like YouTube? And I'm like, always on YouTube. Nope, nobody likes YouTube. No, it's, You're right. It's nobody uses it. Worst website on, online. Totally. It's like got, it's got five videos on it, and they're all us. It sucks. Don't, don't watch. Don't go there. <laughs> Galco's done a number on us. Uh, you can I'm, clearly tell by what we're saying right now. I am Galco Loopy. Alex and I are going to take a couple days to recuperate, mm -hmm. to uh, flush the Galco out of our system. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff, but man, it is too much to handle if you take too much of it at once. And yeah, we, boy, did we have an overdose tonight. Yeah, we need a Galco cleanse. So I'm going to leave y'all off with Slow Beef, who is playing the fixed version of Gradius 3 for Super Nintendo. Oh, wow. Uh, this week they released uh, some kind of MSU1 hack that boosts the frame rate. Uh, Gradius 3 for Super Nintendo is notorious for its slowdown and frame drops, but with this new hack, there's no slowdown whatsoever, and thus the game is impossible. So go wish him luck, have a good night, and we'll see you later. See ya, folks. <laughs>